I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to use area model to multiply improper fractions. The question here is multiply improper fractions using area model 3 over 2 times 7 over 5. So we see 3 over 2 is improper fraction since numerator is more than denominator right. So since numerator is greater than denominator it is improper fraction correct okay so that is very clear to us so we are multiplying improper fractions now what else do you notice we can assign one of the fractions as rows the other one as columns or we can say length and width. When you multiply rows and columns or when you multiply length and width, you get area. So we get area model. Do you understand? So what we will do here is we'll treat three out of two as rows and seven out of five as columns, right? So when you multiply them, you get the area. So that is when you multiply them, what you get is area. We need to find what their product is, which will get straight from the area itself. Do you get the idea, right? Okay. Now, important thing is three out of two means what? It means select three out of two. Hmm. So can you select three rows out of two rows? You can't, not from one rectangle, correct? So that means we need more than one rectangle, right? So, so we need, let me write, more than one. So whenever there are improper fractions, we need more than one rectangle, right? Now, since both rows and columns are, having improper fractions right so that means we actually need four two for the rows and two for the columns correct so that is how we get an idea of what to sketch so what we are trying to do here is we actually work with one particular rectangle we have to divide it into two parts that is number of rows right so let's say that is the two parts but we need to select three we cannot from these two so we take care by making a copy of this right so we make another copy of it say this is exactly same as the one which you've drawn so we get now two rectangles and we'll select three so we select three one two and three now so we have done the part of the rows of we need to select three rows of two right to each let me say correct so so we have three out of or you could just three out of two so we selected three out of two now we have to select columns seven out of five now that really means that we'll divide it into five equal parts but if i divide it into five equal parts can i get seven let's see so let's say this is one two three let's say four and five right four and five you don't get seven that is to say we have to actually make a copy of the whole thing again so we'll make a copy of this right so we have another copy of it so that we can select seven out of five and when we make copy let me divide it again into five parts right two three four and five since this is a copy we have to select first three rows that is three rows correct and now let's select five columns so column number one two 
seven columns three four five six and seven what is the common area so this whole is common correct this whole is common right now here we have this portion is common right here we have this portion as common and here we have this small portion as common now what you notice here is that each small portion is 1 out of 10 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 out of 10 how many total 1 out of 10s do we have that is the product so we have how many tenths so we can call count them all so we have 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and 121 so we get 21 tenths so that is how you can get the product by finding the area where the selected rows and columns meet i hope that is clear right we could have had another approach in doing this that is to say when you read the question as three out of two then we know that we know we have to have two rectangles but when the columns is also seven out of five that means you need to have a copy of the same once you have a copy like shown here in that case you select three out of two right three out of two so that becomes the rows and here seven out of five that is seven out of five correct and then mark the portion which is common to both to give you the answer so we can write down the product as three over two times seven over five as equals to 21 over 10 it is also good practice to write this number as a mixed number so you can divide 21 by 10 you get two holes over just 20 the remainder is 1 tenth so it could be written as 2 1 over 10 also i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best